<coughs> Hi, my name is Ben Paik from Wobi Design, and we're gonna make as many different pen blanks as possible using one skateboard. Before we begin, I'd like to thank Rockler for partnering up with me on this project and providing me with all these tools to make this project a little bit more enjoyable. Let's get started. Okay, first we're gonna pick out a skateboard, take the grip tape off, and sand off all the graphics and glue residue. Okay, so how I'm gonna cut this is I'm gonna cut the nose and the tail off, and then we're gonna cut where the inside hardware holes are, and then we're gonna cut it into strips using the middle piece here. Okay, I broke down the skateboard into more manageable pieces. These are the size of the middle piece that we're gonna save for later. There's a crack here as well as a ton of different concaves, so I don't wanna deal with that for this project. So, these are the remaining pieces. We're gonna glue up six of these three quarter inch strips. We're also going to glue these two pieces together. We're gonna cut these pieces into three quarter inch strips and glue them together as well. So you wanna get some lunch? Let's go. So I have all the blanks cut here. Some of them, I still have to glue it up together. Another thing, because you're handling such small pieces, it is pretty damn dangerous. This is a kickback, so please be careful. Okay, we're gonna come back tomorrow, cut it into its final size, and start drilling holes. We're gonna cut these into its final size, clean it up a little bit, and get it ready to drill some holes. Alright, I have the pen blanks ready to go. The most important tool that you would need for this project is gonna be this. This is Beginner's Pen Turning Kit. This has everything you're going to need to turn a pen for this project. First, we're going to have to insert this tube into the pen blank itself. We're gonna do that by using the drill bit that comes with the pen turning kit. Also, I wanna highlight this pen press drilling jig. It says self-centering jaws allow for repeatable drilling of various pen blank sizes. Centered countersink in the jaws allows precise pen pressing. That's two in one.
We have all the holes drilled, and now all we have to do is insert these tubes into the blank using the CA glue that this pen turning kit provides. Once it's dry, we're gonna use this drill bit which is a pen mill, and we're gonna clean up the inside as well as trim up the outside and square up the ends. We're finally ready to turn it. Let's go to the lathe. Okay, this is my setup. It really doesn't matter what kind of lathe you have. What really matters is what kind of turning tools you have. I recommend buying these carbide turning tools. It's easy to work with, you don't have to sharpen it, and you could always buy new inserts to have a fresh cutting edge. And Rockler sells it. Since we're using skateboards, there's going to be a ton of chip out, so I left enough room to sand it down to its final size. I know it's going to take a lot of time to sand it, but that's the better way to go. Okay, I use about 10 coats of super thin CA glue and then I wet sand all the way up to 12,000 grit using the micro mesh and then I bring out the shine by using the buffing compound and buff it out until it's nice and shiny. There's one more thing to do which is to assemble these pens and we're going to use this pen press drilling jig to assemble it. Here it is, as many different pen blanks as possible using one scapel. Now you could always buy these spectra plies from Rockler to get the same kind of result. So check them out. And thanks to Rockler for partnering up with me and providing me with all these tools. And uh, yeah, let's go.